Restraining orders issued under the Maintenance of Religious Harmony Act will take immediate effect instead of the previous 14-day notice. It's aimed at preventing offensive statements from spreading quickly on social media. Other amendments to the act were also passed in Parliament today. Freedom of religion and maintaining a secular government were the principles of the Maintenance of Religious Harmony Act. However, Home Affairs Minister K. Shanmugam highlighted four trends that have changed in the last 30 years since the act was passed. These include the rise of religiosity, which can be exploited for identity politics. Secularism is an ideal, but it's difficult to get it right, get the balance right. Our constitution guarantees the freedom of religion, but so do the constitutions of many other countries, including the United States, and that has not prevented the rise of identity politics. The second trend that I want to touch on is the increasing violence from conflicts that have been fueled by religious hate speech. Once hate speech is systemically developed and normalized, it destroys social cohesion. Mr. Shamagam also spoke about social media and the internet, which can be used to mobilize hatred and mob attacks. The updated act will require religious organizations to disclose foreign donations and affiliations. It's easy for religious movements in other countries to affect us, religious movements, a new way of thinking, revolutions. We have put in some circuit breakers to prevent events relating to religion affecting us negatively. You cannot completely shut out. The amendments will include religion-related offences brought over from the penal code. These can be offences that urge violence against another person or group.